Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I will be explaining you about the Star Delta starter. In this picture you can see this is the motor, three phase motor. If the motor is small, he can use DOL that is direct on line because the current drawn will be less. In our case, the motor is very big so it will draw a huge current. So you can see there are three coils. This is a three phase motor. You have U, V and W on one side. You have X, Y, Z on the other side. So to start in star, then change over to delta. So why we are doing is, when you start in star, it will draw one third the current and torque. Then we change over to delta, use a timer. So in this picture you can see, R, S, T, this is the supply coming from the generator. You got a circuit breaker here. You have to close the circuit breaker. Once you close the circuit breaker, these two lines will be connected. Then you come here. This figure is the thermal overload protection you have. This is in case the temperature shoots up, then this will trip. So if you want to make this motor into star, what you have to do is, you have to close this contactor here, L1, and you have to close L3, all this three. Once you close all the three here, L2, and this one, this will become a star connection here, like this. And after a timer, we open this L2 and close L3, and the same time L1 will be closed. So this, once you close this one, L1 and L3, then it will form to delta here. This is the circuit. So it will be formed like this. Now what I want to tell you is, this is the same circuit here. The same circuit, but I will be introducing a timer here. So I am taking two supplies from here and connecting to the circuit here. So before that I will tell you, this is 88 and this is 88.1. So this is 6. So we have to close 6 and 88 to form star and you have to close 88-1 and 88 to form delta. Okay. So what I am going to do is, I am going to introduce the time of circuit here. So you can see the supply which is coming from here, it is all the way, this is the primary coil and this is the secondary coil. So now, now what we are doing is, it is energized, so now you can see the supply coming here and waiting to activate. So when I press C, 3C, I am closing this, once I close this, this is the coil, 4X coil, the 4X coil will give, energize this one, 4X here and it close. When that, this is close, the supply will come all the way here and activate the timer 19T. Once the timer is activated, what is happening is the timer will run the timing here. This is 19T, the timer will run. So the 4X will energize here also and this, this will get closed. So once the supply go like this, this timer is now started and this is closed and 6, this is energize the contactor here once this is energized this will get close so supply is coming like this now through this again going to 88 this 88 will energize this contactor 88 here so in turn this will close the circuit here 88 so this is closed now we want this one also to be closed that is what is happening is the supply comes away all the way here so this is 6 energized once this is energized it will close the contactor here and this contactor will close this again it will go supply will go to 88 again this will close so once this is closed then it will be the star connection after the timer is activated this will open once this opens this 88 is already energized and holding so once this opens this will close these are interlocks so 
similarly these are interlocked when this is closed this will this open condition so now this will close once this is closed the supply goes all the way here and it will go to 88.1 once this goes this will energize this one once this is energized it will close this contactor here already 88 is closed so now 88 dash is closed so this forms to delta so when you are using this circuit you should draw like this and explain and so that you will understand the circuit better if you have any doubt regarding this you can message me thank you